Hello and welcome to part 3. So always let's go back to the things I got wrong from the previous videos and one thing I had no idea about is that when you select one of the menu buttons you don't always have to create the items from the code. Actually if you select them you will see here that this button here appears and from here I can create items and name them however I want. This was the about one. You can set all the other properties here. You can add as many as you like and remove them as well. It's easy to miss, like I did. And it also happens with other nodes. So just be mindful to check on this bar as well. And following another user's suggestion, I'm gonna add uh, the save button for this and the title for the program. So now if we go and test it, we get here part three, simple text editor. We want to know, you know, just the path of the file that we're opening. If we have an untitled file or all that information, get it on there. So let's start with the title. How can we do that? Let's first name, create a variable. It's gonna be app name which is going to be text editor. This is going to be the name of our app. Then we'll, let's create another one, which is going to be a uh, current file. This will store the path of the file. Let's say um, untitled. Now let's set the window name. To do that, you can call the OS class and the set window title function and then you pass a string we're gonna pass the app name then we're gonna add the usual dash then we're gonna add the current file so this is gonna change let's try it out yeah text editor untitled this sounds good the, if you don't want to set it from here, the default on this window is going to be set here from the project settings, general config. This is the name of the app before anything is loaded. So instead of calling it part three, let's going to do text editor and loading. You're probably not going to be able to read that, but again, just in case, like you will see that it flickers a little bit there. Just in case they have a super slow machine and they're running your program, or if your program like needs to load a lot of resources, yeah. Then we go to Untitled. Okay, so what we want to do now is that every time we open a file or we save a file, let's save that path and update the window title. So since we're gonna be calling this uh, many times, I'm gonna separate it in a function, which is gonna be update window title. And here we, yeah, no, that's okay. No arguments for now. Let's go and move this here. And we're gonna call it from the ready. Okay, so we want to update this variable current file when we open a file. So here, it's gonna be equal to the path that we're currently running. Actually this print, we don't need it anymore. It was for debugging before, bye. And now we're gonna call the update window title. And let's do the same on the save, okay. Let's see if this is working. We have an untitled. Let's go open the app.gd and we get the full path here. That's nice. So then if I want to start over, like we should also add a new file option. Let's do that. Let's create a new file. New file. And let's do funk new file 
let's see, we want to set the current file to untitled again. We want to update the window title. Then we want to get the text edit text and equal to nothing. And that should be it, right? Like we did everything, we update the title and yeah. Okay, let's call this function now from here. And if item name is equal to new file, let's call the new file function and let's try it out. File open. Let's see, let's open the project one. Okay, we get the title from the project one. Let's create a new file and yeah seems like it is working so we have already the new file and the titles now that we are adding more things to the menus let's add in the help a link to the Godot website you know like you usually want to you know here you have community issues QA you know like if you want to add your website as a link um, you can create that very easily. Let's go to the uh, item help best function. And if the name is equal to Godot website, <laughs> wow, web site. <laughs> okay, Godot website. Let's open a browser with the website, which in this case, you can do it with shell open. And now a string with the URL. I think it was https .org. <laughs> okay. I think it's like that. Let's see if it opens. Help, go to website. And yes, we have the website here. Okay. So I think we have pretty much mastered these basic uh, elements. Let's go now and do the save file instead of save us because, you know, you want to save it instead of naming it all the time. So let's go and create the... save function uh, sorry save uh, item name and now we have to create the function which is going to be pretty similar to um, the save file log uh, save file dialog but with a couple of conditions so this is going to be save file so for what we know the name of the file is going to be stored in current file. So current file is going to be our path. But we want to check first if path is equal to untitled, which is basically like a new file that we never saved before. We want to, instead of continuing with this uh, script, we want to trigger the pop-up for the save as. So save as file dialog pop-up. That means that if we haven't saved the file yet, it's going to ask for a, a name and things like that. But if we already have like the path set and everything, Let's go ahead and do the same as we did here, which is saving, uh, opening the file with the path that we already have from the current file. We store the information, we close the file, we update this. I don't think we need it because it's gonna be the same. So we remove that and we update the window title. So of course, now we link that save function item name. We will have to refactor all this. It's starting to look very, very bad. Okay, if save, we can call the save file. Okay. 
let's try it out let's open a file uh, let's see we're on the part three let's open this same file and we have the script here let's add a comment at the end here and let's say uh, hello from our text editor let's save it and we have it here it's been updated from our editor we know the path from here and everything so yeah let's delete it save it again we see the update so it is working that's great that's it for today see you in the next video thanks everyone for all the comments i really 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 appreciate it and on the next video we're gonna cover the layouts and if we have enough time for that the custom uh, themes which is pretty exciting if you want to make your app look a little bit better than the default uh, but that's gonna be it for now so thanks again remember to like share subscribe and all those <laughs> all those things okay bye